Oh my goodness, hello everybody, welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, which was so long ago, we fought off against a giant beast and oh lordy, that was rough. But uh, now we have a cutscene. Interesting, didn't we think about that before, but you know what? I am done with this place. We've been in here for like eight episodes. Let's get out of here. Or not. Look who it is. Oh, the common rebel. So I finally found you. That's far enough. You like he's must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, Princess, right this way. Huh? What does it mean, Princess? The Princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri! But how did you... What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita? You too? Oh, wait! You've gotta be kidding! To my friends. Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. I don't think abduction is the right word here, Kimor. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct. Oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Estelle! Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit, Yuri Lol, and his accomplices! Oh, no. Arrest them in the name of Captain Sh 
squad. Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say. What do you mean, gang? Hey, hey, get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything. Don't hurt them, I beg you. Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking. Walk, I say. Watch it with the pulling. Sir Swan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedledee? That's right. I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you. How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. How many crimes did you commit, Jesus, Yuri? I wonder what will happen to me. So, I'll write, you have no signs of remorse in the report, then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours, anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. So, Schwan is a legendary hero, and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So, basically, his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei, what? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses, Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire. The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. Suck it! I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess! I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up! You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man! I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... Decapitation. Been nice knowing you. <laughs> what about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads then. What? <laughs> That's idiots. Oh man, these these skits get to me. But um, first things first. Wonder Chef right here. Yes, yes, we found you, and we get the Sal- Nope, I was way off, okay. We already got the Salisbury steak. I haven't played this game in a while. But it's nice to be recording again. The reason I hadn't updated this for so long is because there were some issues, but I find figured out how to transfer this file to a different 360, which I'm using now. As for Star Force, I'm just going to need Camtasia again, and that'll be up and running. I should have finished it when I had the chance, but I got lazy. And... The little the city we're in now, I'm not really going to say it just yet. I... Does anyone have that... When you replay a game, does anyone have that area where you just don't feel like playing through it? I refer to those as slow parts, because this part of the game, just right here, I don't... It's just sl too slow for me. There's not a lot of action going on, but we're just going to have to soldier on through it. So, Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torm Harbor and the city of Dongrist. 
It was only just recently built, so it's it's still a very new town. But if you follow this road east, you'll hit Karabakram, where, where we were earlier, cut through the west and go to the, to the northwest to reach Dongrist. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. Look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Don't get yourself in trouble now, Rita. Jeez. Yes, welcome to the Rising City Heliord. Um, first things first. Oh, we're already healed up, okay. Um, what do I have? Not a lot of skills. Alright, well, you know, it doesn't matter. Just talk to Carol. Hula. Can't go back to the hunting blades. What am I going to do? Well, you could stay with us, but it doesn't seem like you want to do that. Petus Wolf's. Is this the town's Blastia? Hmm. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. I guess we can't go down there. Oh, uh, hey, look, it's Flynn. And Yoder, suddenly. Ah, oh, so both of you... Oh, so both of you were here the whole time. Yuri, please watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show courtesy... Do courtesy due to his gracious... The gracious pardoner of your crimes. Jesus, he words his sentences weirdly. It's okay, Flynn. Mrs. Lee's and I acted of our own violation. So you've already heard about Princess Vesalise, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp around the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought up to, into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether the, you or the princess is next in line for the imperial throne? Correct. There are currently two, uh, two opinions, that of the imperial knights and that of the council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The imperial knights are backing my own ascension into the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Cecilise has the support of the council. She is a princess, after all. Yes, her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's got to be tough for the knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri, this matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm going to drop by the Estelle's place, and then I'm going to take a load off at the end. Thanks for the chat. Now, this part is dickish. You go up here, and look who it is. Wait, I say! Wait, you! Hey, it's Tweedley and Tweedlebee. Don't call us that. Something I can help you two with? Even if you have the direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say, that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire. As members of the Imperial Knights, our honors will not allow us to simply let that slide. Yuri Lowell, you will battle with us here, I say, fair and square. If you beat us, we will recognize you as innocent of your crimes. Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people for their crimes? Regardless, we must battle! Battle! If that's what makes you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! And... We have another battle, but this one is a different battle. Kiss your freedom goodbye, for it ends today! I say, prepare to face the Imperial Knight's ultimate fighting technique, the Burst Art! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own that doesn't belong to the Knights. I say, be quiet! The Burst Art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done, you fool! I say, we shall show you! But before that happens, but you will be reduced to nothing more than a... No more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! Rah! Maybe it has something to do with Overlimit. Go! Show us how it's done, Natacore! I say, watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! I didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh, burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. Ha, there's no way an amateur like you could do something like that, I say! And now, Overlimit! <laughs> Whoa, be careful! Yuri Lowe is going to attack! Arcane Art? And if you hold A after doing an Arcane Art, you do a Burst Art! Divine Wolf. Uh, burst Art, I say, what a terrible turn of events! 
Now, if you didn't get Crushing Eagle before, like I do, this is where you would learn it. And this battle is... This battle can be hard. I mean, I don't have any healing items, so... Well, I don't have many healing items, so I gotta be really conservative about what I do here against these two. It doesn't help that Bokos over there is an overlimit. Ow, ow. I don't have backstep equipment, right. That's not what I wanted to do, but that works. Owie. So yeah, imagine entering this fight, but what do I have left? Two apple gels and an orange gel, yeah. I think, I, I think I'll be fine, but I mean... That dreaded giant boost boss fight just wrecked me. And I'm trying to make Fatal Strike at a core. I can do it, it's just not letting me. Ow. There we go, I'm content. I'm content now. Ow. Okay, I think I should heal now. <laughs> Use my last, uh, orange gel here. Ow. Okay, one down. Now the other one's not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna need to really buy items after this. I think I have a lot of money considering all the fighting I did. Oh hey, that was a nice combo. Oh, I should also mention, burst arts do not cost TP. The only thing that will cost TP is the arcade art that uh, you use to link the burst art. And I'll use the orange gel because why not, I mean... <laughs> I, already, I'm, I already have no items. You think, or you know. I want to finish up with the burst start just because. He'll probably die before that. Yeah, oh well. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. Guess I'll hurry back to the inn. And we get a new page of the battle book, and I will see you guys next time.